Hi everyone! Uh, the first thing I want to say is happy kind of belated new year. Sorry for being inactive on this channel yet again, but uh, here's to hoping the 2023 and the 2020 decade as a whole isn't going to be complete cheeks. Like, I still do have a tiny bit of hope for this this wacky, weird generation. And the second thing I want to say is that no, I am not being cancelled. Thank God I'm not. I just wanted to get this off of my chest because I felt like I have not been honest to you guys about this for a very long while. I have not been motivated to post or make new videos or draw for a long while because I have been thinking about a lot of things in my past and I started to feel a lot of regret and guilt over some of the slightly edgy and rude things I've said about others and done on not just Amino but oh, not just Amino what on well both Amino and YouTube yeah that's what I meant to say sorry little tongue slip um I've made a lot of dumb decisions and I feel like a really crappy person whenever I look back on the stuff I have said a few years ago I would be one of those people who would comment on some different like quote-unquote cringy videos like gotcha Sonic the Hedgehog or gotcha My Hero Academia videos and I would make fun of them and call both the videos and the creators themselves cringe I hate I hate what I have done I really really regret what I've said I hate looking back on it because I feel like whenever I look back on it I feel like I probably have been responsible for slightly damaging or ruining someone's confidence in making and posting videos Stuff like that I've said is just was just me trying to fit in and look cool in other people's eyes. It's also because the reason why I've said stuff like that is also because of the some of the unnecessary spirited and hateful comments I've gotten not just with my videos but some of my art as well on other platforms like DeviantArt and Amino. I don't let comments like them affect me but if I'm going through like a terrible moment or day in my life, those comments always take a toll on me and it feels like the world is about to get me. And then there's also the old drama on my channel where somebody masqueraded as me and started posting links to my channel under the comment sections of random videos, which led to a lot of people making hate comments on a few of my videos with the comments just oozing with unfunny reddit and middle school level humor insults towards me. I found the person's channel and posted their link to their channel on one of my old community posts, but uh, one of the comments that stood out was from somebody who started criticizing my actions and basically calling me out for sending my subscribers to attack somebody who was probably just a huge fan of mine. And even though I was being harassed for something that I didn't even do and that you shouldn't be pretending to be somebody you're not to gain subscribers, to this day I still do feel a lot of guilt for sending some of you guys to harass somebody. And I feel like, I do kind of feel like I might have been a kid who was just a huge fan of my channel or just wanted my attention. And I don't know, I just... I just don't really feel good whenever I'm thinking about that situation because that has caused me a lot of like like emotional trauma and stuff like that. I really don't like thinking about that. Though some of the snarky stuff I've said towards people who are actually being condescending and disrespectful towards not just me but my friends in both real life and online or random people, I really don't regret it. If you don't treat me or others with respect, then why should you expect that I should treat you with respect in return? Don't be surprised when someone responds to you rudely if you're rude to them first. And I don't care too much about New Year's resolutions, but one of my main goals is to not act like how I was back when I was 15 and 16 years old, except towards trolls or others who try a little too hard to get attention because their dear old dad didn't hug them enough. 
And uh, on a little side note, don't be anything like the younger me. I don't want to hear the excuses of it's the internet, it's not all sunshine and rainbows, get used to it. No. Yes, the internet is far from being unicorns and rainbows, but that is a crappy excuse for you to be an ass to others for no reason. If you're spamming things like KYS or sending death threats or harassing and bullying random other people, especially kids, for liking and participating in cringe things for no reason at all, then you really need to you really need to take a long look in the mirror because you're pretty cringe yourself. Just like kids be kids, let them have a childhood that other kids are unfortunate to have. It's perfectly fine to dislike stuff that kids like nowadays, like the Dream SMP, Gotcha, Genshin Impact, Poppy Playtime, etc. That I can accept. What I don't accept is you calling them names or being a prick to them just because of what they like. Or even something stupid like their profile picture. God. People who get fussy over somebody else's profile picture gives me so much secondhand embarrassment. Like, chill. It is just a picture. Nothing serious. But all in all, that is all I wanted to say for today. Hopefully I didn't make you guys too worried about me because I'm doing just fine. I just felt like telling you guys this because I I just felt like I wanted to get this off of my chest. And before I go, I know this sounds hella corny and cliche, but take my advice to heart and just be nice to one another. Simple as that. Sometimes one kind word or act can change someone's entire day. Don't be a douchebag for the sake of it or to try and fit in with, what, uh, with other people like what I did in my past. And for those people out there who are watching who are kind of in a similar road to mine, don't feel bad about yourself. You can try and change, you can try and start anew. And yeah, there's nothing wrong with confronting your past because confronting your past can be a good thing because you can just see like what went wrong and how you can learn to avoid something like this in the future and yeah and that's all that i have to say to you guys i love you all i hope you guys are doing safe in the world and taking care and i will see you all on the flip side peace